Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's B. This is Monday, June the 3rd, 2013, and this is my week 164. Sorry, my marker board and all my notes are over here. Week 164 post-op update. So, let's jump in feet first to the numbers. Last week, I was a whopping 226.8 pounds. Uh, today, I weigh 224.4 for a 2.4 pound loss. Bande, I'll take it. Um, for those of you who don't know, that is an overall loss of 131 pounds from my highest recorded weight of 356.4. I think it was 0.4. I don't really know. I was on doctor scale, so it was 356 pounds. It was 331 pounds, give or take six tenths of a point. Who gives a shit? I don't mind the decimal places. So anyway, uh, I can accumulate. Accumulate. I can. Uh, I can attribute that to the success of all of my goals this week: nutrition, fitness, uh, water. Um, all those goals I set in the last week video that I already erased for this week's goals. <laughs> um, but uh, water was spot on, as always. I never have a problem with water because I drink so much damn water at work. It's just like, it's not even worth counting for me. Like, I, I last week on YouTube, I did this thing um, with my pocket peeps, and, and I posted it to YouTube, too, I think. Uh, or not YouTube, but uh, Facebook. Uh, where I wanted to get uh, 213 points, some random number that my pocket peeps picked out for me. Um ounces of water in and people were like oh my god how do you drink that much water it it's just it's habit for me i drink so much water at work drinking water is never never an issue uh something very interesting happened to me though i um started planning ahead with food i didn't mean to it just kind of happened it's i guess we fall back into to our habits you know good or bad and that's kind of something that I talked about today, as a matter of fact, on my proof update, which I also do on Mondays. Um, you know, having goals and building good f habits to support those goals, to help achieve those goals. And that was uh, that's a, a pretty damn good example of uh, having those good habits in place to help us achieve our, our goals. Uh, started planning meals ahead, um, coming up with contingency plans for things like being stuck on the dessert station for eight hours, which I was last night, which was a fucking challenge for me. Thank you very much. Um, but I did it. I did well. I didn't graze, and I was very happy with that. Um, man, you know, I wasn't going to talk about this because I really try not to focus on negativity. But I saw something this week when I was out shoe shopping, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And it... I just... I felt like I needed to say it, so I'm going to say it. And I might piss some people off in the process, and I'm sorry. But you guys that have followed me long enough know you get nothing but tough love from me. All right? I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't try to make you feel better about it or pat you on the back when you need a kick in the ass. It's not me. But I was walking down Las Vegas Boulevard. I was shoe shopping. And I saw a lady. Lady. She's probably my age. Maybe a little younger. And she had one of those strollers like you push kids in. And it holds like 19 kids. Not 19. It was like three. But still, you know, it's this big fucking contraption that holds... A family, right? And she's got her headphones on. She's got her running shoes on. And she's just running down Las Vegas Boulevard. 9 o'clock in the morning. Not a soul on Las Vegas Boulevard but her and me. And she's just getting it in. And I saw her. And I was I was inspired, man. I wanted to run with her. I was just, I said it out loud. I said, get that shit. And she didn't hear me. And she had her headphones on. But I was just like, here's a woman who, who didn't make excuses. Who... Didn't say, man, I gotta drag these kids out, and I, I'm just gonna stay at home. She got out and she made the time and got it done. And I was just, I was, I was so inspired by that because I've read so many things this week, and this is one of the reasons I don't like going to Facebook because I read all this stuff on Facebook and it just pisses me off. I see, 
I see us, we're a community as a whole, so I'll include myself in this group. Um, I see us make excuses a lot. You know, excuses why we don't work out, why we don't drink our water, why we don't eat what we should be eating, why we don't go to the doctor. And, you know, why we don't take our vitamins. I, I don't like the taste, I don't like the smell, I don't like the way, I don't like my water, I, I can't drink enough, I don't have time to go work out. And we make excuses. And here's this lady who, I don't, I don't know, she may have been a weight loss surgery patient. She may not have. She, I mean, she was just an average build person. But she obviously had shit going on in her life. And she made the time. She didn't make any excuses. She made the time. And she got it in. And man, if she could get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, she had to have to get all this shit together. Get her husband out the door. Get her kids in the car. Get all this equipment that she needs to take three kids to Las Vegas Boulevard. Find a parking spot. Get all this shit unpacked. Get them in the stroller. Get her headphones on and run. And then pack it all back up and go home. If she can make the time to do that, ain't no way in hell I can't make the time to go to the gym and run three miles on the damn treadmill. I mean, that was just that was my my mental thought, and I I just I felt I don't know it moved me man it touched me because I just we have no excuse no excuse no excuse for not doing what we're supposed to do. The only thing we have is right in here. You either have it. Or you don't. You either have what it takes to put the effort into this shit to get it done every day and not let that fat monster win, or you don't. That's all there is to it. But that's it. I'm going to rant. I wanted to share that story. So, pfft. all right. Now, uh, oh, shoe shopping. So, anybody who's watched me for more than a year, because I haven't done a video in a year, has seen these. These are my Nike Free Runs. Love these things. These are my favorite shoes on the planet. I've had these things for three long years, and they're beat the fuck up. These guys have been in Houston with me. They ran my first 5K. I took them to New England. I've run in 9-degree weather. I took them out here. I've run in 120-degree weather. And I had to retire them this week. Uh... But I got a new pair. I didn't get the free runs. You know, um, there's a lot of free runs out now. They're not just the free run 2.0s anymore. They've got like several different variations based on the foot flex. And it's this whole minimalist shoe thing. And you guys know that I'm big on the minimalist shoe. Like I fell in love with these things for a while. I still hike in my Vibrams, by the way. Um, but I don't run in them anymore. So I got some um, Nike Luna Glide floors fours not floors these are really comfortable uh they're very light they're not as light as the free runs but they uh they're still really light they have um really good support for me which i found uh to be very 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 nice um they're very comfortable i did do one run in them i ran in them on friday uh yeah friday ran them on friday two and a half miles uh went really well i ran in them without breaking them in which is kind of scary but they worked out well. So I've worn them around town for a couple of days, try to break them in. And um, we're going to run with them this week and see how it goes. While I was at the Nike store, um, I found this guy. This is pretty neat. It's kind of like one of those quarterback armbands that uh, you, uh, those quarterbacks wear the play, the plays on the, on, the, uh, on the arm. You just slip it on your arm like this. But the thing that this thing does is it holds your iPhone. Uh, a lot of my friends, a lot of my pocket peeps are big fans of the Garmin GPS watch to track their runs. And I would probably have one if it played music, but I don't like to carry lots of different devices and things. And if I'm going to carry my phone for my music, I might as well use it for my, my running guide as well. So I'm a big fan of the Nike Plus app uh, because I can listen to my music also. But this thing, your iPhone fits in here, and then you put it on your arm, and you'll have touch screen access right there. You can get to the home button on my iPhone. It's got a little port here for the headphone jack. Uh, I ran with this on Friday. This cost me 20 bucks, I think it was. Fits really well. It's a little snug. 
Um, but, I mean, that's good because, you know, you're running with the it went fall off. It was kind of tight with the iPhone 4 in it. Uh, I haven't tried it with an iPod Touch, but uh, I might try that next. The only problem with that is there's no GPS on the iPod Touch, and it kind of defeats the purpose. But uh, it was a little snug with the iPad, the iPhone 4, um, but it wasn't uncomfortable, and it worked really, really well. So I'm going to give that um, a good week or two, and I'll let you know how that turns out. Um, so that's my goodies this week. Uh, going through my notes here. Goals for the week. Um, this week is going to be a little hectic for me. Because next week I'm going to be on the road. In fact, I'll probably be doing my week 165 post-op update from the car. Uh, I'll be going back to Texas. Yay! So excited. God, I'm so fucking excited to be going back home. Uh, I've already started working on uh, you know, fitness regimens. And, and I've got a workout partner waiting for me when I get back. And all sorts of stuff. It's going to be interesting, man. I... I, I feel, I can already feel, I already feel different, you know, I already feel like, I feel like my old self, which is awesome, you know, it's pretty fucking awesome, but anyway, uh, plants of the week, pack, I don't have a lot to pack. It's going to take me a day or two to pack because i got to go through some stuff. I've accumulated a lot of things since I got here. Uh, most of it's paper, you know, so I kind of have to go through and see what I want to keep, what I don't. Um, I need to plan my food for the trip because I'm going to be on the road for four days. I'm stopping off in a few cities along the way. Uh, where am I stopping, by the way? Uh, I'll be in Phoenix, but I'll be pretty busy in Phoenix. I have friends there. I'm going to stop somewhere between El Paso and Fort Stockton in Texas. And I'm going to go to Fort Worth. I have some friends I need to visit there. It's kind of out of the way, but um, it's not that far out of the way. And then going back to Houston. So uh, four days on the road. Definitely got to plan, uh, plan ahead food-wise because I don't want to be tempted to stop and eat in, at places I shouldn't be eating. Uh, Three days of fitness again this week. I want to try to put a little distance in if my foot lets me, man. I don't know what's up with my toe. i got to figure that out because it's it's really starting to, to bother me. But I, I'm still able to get in three, three and a half miles, and, and I'm happy with that. Uh, keep my nutrition in check this week. This is going to be a tough week for me because it's my last week in Vegas, and I, a lot of things that I want to do, a lot of people want to go out. Um, i got to make sure my... Food stays on point because most of these people are going to want to go drinking. And um, I got to make sure that I don't get out of control with that. Because the last thing I want is uh, to gain three pounds because I had too much whiskey this week. Um, and I got to get things ready for uh, for my video. I got to come up with something to talk about other than me. Um, because, well, I'm going to be shooting in the car. And I probably won't have access to my marker board. It'll look kind of funny driving down the street with my marker board. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's it. Let me double check. Yeah. That's it. So, um, I guess I uh, will talk to you guys on Monday. Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. All that good stuff. Um... And I'll see you next week. Have a great week, guys, and take care.